Hello everybody and today we're going to be looking at some 10 year old miniatures. Though these aren't actually 10 years old, these are more like uh, 9 year and 11 month old miniatures. But I just want to do this video now. So, when you buy sealed product like this online and you get a good price, uh, you're always suspicious that people have done like some uh, re uh, um, some resealing on it. Which basically means they take a box, they make sure that there's no miniatures that are worth a lot of money, and then they reseal it. Now, as you can see, uh, two of these boxes look a little bit suspicious, but the third one looks pretty new. So I'm assuming these are just old stock. But you never know. I think my favorite one when I got cheap miniatures online, supposedly they were sealed new product. Uh, they actually had the Star Wars miniatures in them, and not the D&D uh, &D miniatures. Uh, so let's open up the big beat up one first and see what's going on. Uh, it's a little bit suspicious there. That pretty much opened up without any sort of give at all. So that seems like regular glue. These are like, you know, these are almost 10 years old. So there's, there is a chance that this is actual legit shelfware. So let's see here. Looks pretty good so far. We got a lovely uh, rat swarm here. It's a pretty interesting miniature. Big, huge rat swarm. I don't have this miniature. Uh, that is one that I have not encountered yet. Uh, we have a very common elf miniature with a scimitar. Uh, let's see here. We have the other common elf miniature, which is, I believe, the war singer. I'm sorry, war wild elf war singer. So, kind of a cool miniature, but very, very, very common. Uh, we also have a less common miniature. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but it's like a, an armored thing. And yeah, you're not going to be able to read the labels for these. Luckily, these all come with cards, so I might read those out a little bit again. Oh, we have a very nice one. I always like this miniature. It's a nice lizard folk with a big old club. I like that. It's very nice. Uh, we have an elven... A Skyfire Captain. So, this is a rare miniature. He's got his bow and everything. So, that's pretty good. So, so far, that's one, two, three, four, five, six miniatures. So, there sh should be two left in here. And there are. And there's a sealed pack of cards, too. Ah, uh, okay, so I'll say right now this was not repacked. Because uh, we have the uh, we have the ghoul miniature, which is a very it's a very nice miniature. Nice ghoul guy here, clutching a uh, human arm. Pretty nice miniature there. Uh, but we also have a red spawn... What is this? Red spawn arcanus? I don't know how to pronounce it. So, kind of like a, uh, a Dragonborn type guy, but he's got a long tail. So he's not really a Dragonborn, but you certainly could use him as a Dragonborn. And it's got the uh, sealed pack of cards. And this does not look like it's been real sealed. So I'm going to say at this point that these, uh, these are definitely not uh, repacks. And these are legit, like, you know, old stock that somebody was just trying to get rid of at a cheap price on eBay. Uh, I think normally with these, I've seen these around $20, and I got these for significantly less than that. So, ooh, that's a big old clump of... Hmm. We will have to see. All right. Ooh, this is a lovely miniature right here. This is definitely one that I'm going to keep. This is a large miniature. I believe this is a color in the darkness. I'm going to open this up because I know I'm adding this to my collection. Ah, uh, this is a nice mini. Yeah, color and darkness. What a great mini. It's translucent. It's just a bunch of faces. Oh, wow, that is so great. It's, it's so useful, too, because you could use this for a number of, like, ghosts or creatures. And it's just, boy, the Hasbro translucent stuff is really nice. So I'm, I'm happy we pulled that. We got a, ooh, lovely. This is a tiefling of some sort. This is a tiefling warlock, a very nice little tiefling. Here he's got a uh, looks like a either a rapier or a scimitar, something like that. Boy, this setup does not really work out all that great, but you can see it a little bit. It's a good miniature. 
Uh, again, one that I never have. I've never seen that one before, actually. So that's brand new to my collection. Ooh, I've never seen this one either. Um, oh my god, this is Van Richten! This is Van Richten! The, uh... This is Van Richten! The, uh... The Vampire Hunter, I believe? It might be a different Van Richten, I'm not quite sure. Van Richten, I believe this is the same... Vampire Hunter, because he's an older gentleman. Uh, he seems to be kitted out for... So he's got that big heavy hammer. Hmm. Van Richten. I think this might be the same Van Richten from the, the new series. I'm not quite sure. So let's see here. We have... Uh, dwarf Battle Rager, which is just a dwarf with two little maces. He's a very common miniature. I have a couple of him already. So I might he might go on my things to sell. Uh, oh, we have a Changeling Rogue. And so this is basically kind of a rogue guy with kind of like a no face thing going on here. It's pretty interesting. Interesting miniature. Let's see here. Uh, we have a lovely Goblin Bowman who's a Goblin Archer. Very nice little goblin archer there. Useful miniature. Let's see here. Oh, we got a hot. We got a like a bugbear. A very wide stance. Bugbear gang leader. That's nice. I'm pleased so far with these. And then last of all, we have. Ooh, what is this? This is a halfling. Brawler, so it's halfling with two, two small weapons. So two hatchets of some sort. That's not bad. I enjoy that. We have our sealed, sealed pack of cards with the color in, uh, color and darkness card right there. These are uh, somewhat useless uh, to me at least because you know these are mainly for older editions of the game and for the miniature. The miniature game itself, which I have never seen anybody actually attempt to play. Uh, considering I have all these miniatures, I might try playing that at one point in time. And this is the final pack. It's got a lovely werewolf on there. It's grabbing a poor warrior. Gonna throw him at somebody else. And a fallen guy there. Um, I'm hoping that I get this guy here. I actually don't know who the heck this miniature is or what it's supposed to represent. But I've just never... Uh, that's definitely not in my collection. It'd be great if I could get that. So I'm trying to pull something like that. There's a lot of miniatures that I don't have. This is a hefty one. So this is the most hefty out of the, uh, the three packs here I had. This is hefty. This is looking good. Oh! See, I'm not disappointed, though. This is a duplicate, but I am not disappointed because I am 100% going to keep both of these guys for my collection. This is a large miniature. This is this is really nice. I like this. So, very pleased. Very pleased. Um, but it still feels heavy, so I know we got a couple more large ones in here. Here we go! This is a... <laughs> now, this is a weird miniature here. This is a large dude. And obviously, you know... I was playing. If I was playing Warhammer uh, Fantasy Second Edition, I would definitely. This guy would definitely show up as a mutant of some sort. That's pretty cool. And I think there's still another large one in here. Uh, and we have yet another elf, common, screaming elf, war singer, perhaps. Yeah. Pretty good paint job on this one. I, yeah, I don't, don't, I don't know why I keep on doing that. I'm sorry. I expect the camera to gain focus. Um, ooh, and we have the Bat Familiar. One of the very few Hasbro miniatures which had the little flight stick. Not many of these had the flight stick. So you'll notice, too, uh, Wizards actually used to make many different sizes and bases. So this is the Goblin base. So the Goblin's a small creature. If I could grab a medium one here. If I could grab this uh, tiefling here. So the tiefling is medium. 
So if you can see, uh, we have medium, small, and then we have tiny. So tiny used to actually be a size. So every once in a while, you would get these miniatures that had this really small base. I actually don't know the dimensions of that. I think it's near, it's not 20 millimeters, I, I, maybe 15 millimeters? I'm not quite sure. But in any case, uh, you would ever, every once in a while you get these miniatures that were of tiny size, which means that they'd have these teeny tiny bases. So this is a pretty cool miniature right here. It's got the translucent wings. If I could just get the camera to focus. And it's got this teeny tiny base. I like that. Very pleased. A couple more left. Let's see here. We have yet another uh, changeling rogue. Um, hmm. I'm not. Yeah. Maybe if there's a situation where a bunch of townsfolks turned into changelings, maybe those miniatures would be helpful there. Oh, and we have uh, Intellect Devourer, aka the Walking Brain. I liked the one that the Pathfinder set actually made, and I didn't like the one, the latest one, because the little brain guy was just so small, and I cannot get this camera to focus. I apologize. I should have some sort of thing to force it to focus somehow. So as you can see, this guy's uh, obviously not the tiny little walking brain. This is actually a... Uh, a nice chunky size brain. I like that guy. Very nice. What a strange, weird creature to encounter in the dungeon. A walking brain. Very interesting. And... We have another bugbear gang leader. Very nice again. Decently painted. Bugbear with the classic bugbear... And finally, we have yet another ghoul. Grave Touch Ghoul. Which you've already seen before, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to hold up. Okay, so, um, I'm disappointed that I didn't get, like, the big werewolf. I'm disappointed I didn't get um, some of the other ones. But I got a number of miniatures that I don't have and I've never actually seen before. Van Richten one I've never seen before. Uh, the Tiefling one I definitely did not have. And uh, there's a couple really good ones. But I think the big takeaway and the miniatures that I probably will end up using the most are the pair of color in the darknesses. <laughs> I don't know how you pluralize that. But yeah, these are great. These are excellent looking miniatures. And uh, I will definitely get a lot of use out of these. Firecrash camera. Boy, now I know how Ashens feels. He's trying to get the stupid camera to focus. Really cool. Very cool. Yeah, anyways. So, that's it. Uh, every once in a while when you get these, uh, these old sealed packs on eBay, um, you know, and they're suspiciously priced low, they might be repacks, but uh, this, these obviously were not repacks. And I got a very good deal on these, and I got some miniatures, which I'm going to find very, very useful. And, you know, I don't think there was any miniatures in here that I were kind of a waste or anything. Uh, pretty much everything that I have I can use for something. That was kind of the good thing back in the day. Even though you got a lot of uh, miniatures, most of the common ones were miniatures that you need a lot of. So it was never a huge issue that you got like a bunch of uh, Elven War Singers um, because you could generally use those for something. But uh, overall, yeah, I feel like I got my money's worth on this. And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck when you are trying to find similar deals on old products in the future. If anybody has any questions about the older Hasbro line of miniatures, please let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.